Hi, come on in please. Do you have an appointment? Ah, I know exactly who you are. You're here to pick up your very first pair of contact lenses, right? How exciting is that? Okay, oh good. I'm glad that you are feeling confident about it. It can be quite a change, so it's good to keep a positive attitude and you need to be aware of all the cares that it requires. It is not just changing from glasses to lenses, you know, there are things that you absolutely must do and that's what I want to talk to you about. But actually, before we move on to that, I would just like to quickly check your eyes for any redness, any possible infection, because a contact lens is already a foreign body that you'll be introducing into your eyes. So we need to make sure that there's nothing going on there that can cause even more discomfort or spread the infection further, okay? Yeah, for that, I have here my little flashlight and I'll be pointing this towards your eyes just some quick exam, don't have to worry about it Are you ready? Okay, perfect So, can you look up for me?
this is a, a blister which is your contact case basically and here you can see that it's clearly marked an R to indicate that this is the right and this one doesn't say anything but it's logically the left eye now this is only important because if you decide to opt for the monthly ones you need to make sure that once you choose one and use it on your right eye it will always need to go back to your right eye and that's why we have here clearly marked the R that's mostly because eyes are different and if for a reason or the other there's a little infection or just a little bit of dirt in one of the lenses and then you do not know which one is each and the next day you end up using on the left eye it may spread the bacteria and a whole lot of trouble that you want to avoid so it's no trouble at all to just remember and follow the instructions the right goes on the right the left goes on the left <laughs> then you have lots of case options this is the standard one that will come with the disinfectant solution but you can definitely buy different cases I know some people have the cases where like the little lids are animals little hippos, little elephants others try to make their own custom cases with colors, different shapes this is the standard and that's a whole new story, so this is what you'll get for the first time and then you open it you wash your hands always, always before you open this after you open before you put your eye fingers in your eyes and then you place the lens here and then you close it like that oh yeah of course you must always put the disinfectant solutions otherwise your lens will dry up in here if you don't put any liquid of course so here it is you won't need this right away because like I said you're taking the test lenses which are only good for one day do not stretch it okay do not do that but this is what you will see if you opt for the monthly ones now for the disinfecting solutions like I was mentioning here we like to work with this brand which is opti free there are a ton of other brands some people prefer a certain brand others are completely neutral and they don't feel a difference when, uh, when trying different disinfecting solutions but if your eyes are sensitive and you just do not want to risk it you should stick to a brand that you know your eyes feel good with it you know that the solution doesn't irritate your eyes because that has happened sometimes we sell a product here and the feedback is that it irritated their eyes there's nothing we can do because it depends from person to person but this brand so far has been one of the most better received ones let's say it like that so we never really had anyone say that they felt like their eyes were dry or irritated after using OptiFree but even this one has a different 
ranges of the same product so we have this one which says OptiFree Pure Moist and then we have OptiFree but Express as you can see they're both the same they have the same name is better at keeping the lenses hydrated and they are created to ensure that your eyes have maximum comfort uh, exactly and this one is designed for better practicality meaning that you can put your lenses in your little blister and use this liquid and leave them there for three hours, for instance. If you had a, bit, a long night and you only have three night, three little hours to sleep, or you just want to take your lenses out to rest your eyes for a little while, you can use this one. But if that's the case, you should not use this one because this one this requires that your lenses stay in the contacts case for at least six hours. Nothing bad will happen if they don't stay for those six hours. However, you will not be getting the benefits of OptiFree Pure Moist and it's not really indicated in that case. So this is mostly if you take your lenses at night, which you always should, please never ever ever sleep with your lenses on. I know sometimes when we are really tired that's that's very tempting because all you want to do is lay in bed and close your eyes, but please, please don't do it. One time, okay, you know, nothing nothing bad will happen either, but don't make that a habit. Your eyes need to breathe and when you have contacts on, they are not breathing correctly. That's why it's very important. Take them out, 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 out at night. Okay? Good. So, this one is ideal for nighttime. If you have at least six hours without the lenses, then this one is perfect because it will help you feel more comfortable. If you don't have a lot of time between the changes, this one is the most indicated. But as I mentioned before, you won't be really needing the liquid solutions or the cases for the moment being because during those three days you'll be wearing daily contacts and what should you not do? sleep with them, yes, but what other thing that I mentioned? Exactly, you should not use them more than one day. They are meant for you to use it one, one, one day only. If you adapt to them, you come back here and will order either the monthly or the dailies if you want to keep on having that. They both have advantage and disadvantages, but like I said, we'll go over them when the time comes and then we'll talk again about the liquid solutions and about the importance of washing your little case three times a week okay yeah it is very important because contacts and the liquid solution they have a little crease not to mention the bacteria that are inevitable to come in here no matter how well you wash your hands but it is very important because those little greasy particles start accumulating in the case and thus accumulate in the lens as well which goes into your eyes and can cause some very annoying infections and that's something we don't want, right? okay, but we'll go through that 
that again when you come and if you opt for the monthly ones. Um, like I said, I just wanted to give you a quick little introduction to the world of contacts. Uh, but here you go. You have your test ones. I'm gonna grab the other two and I will see you in a few days, okay? Okay, that's wonderful. I'll be right back.